Okay, this is the mechanical sequencer. You push the button, the drum turns, it cycles one turn and then stops. If you push the button and hold it down through the turn, it gets passed, you'll release it, and you'll complete the turn and stop. This is the sequencer based on the 4017 chip. It's cycling through 10 states, the maximum number, and lighting an LED as it goes. When it gets to the last two states, 9 and 10, uh, uh, next one, it'll turn the motor on for both states, and then when it exits, it stops and goes back to the beginning again, and will cycle through the 10 states again. Timing depends on the little pulse generator, the 555 timer, generating the ticks, moving from one state to the next. This is the Arduino used as a lighting generator. Each of the green LEDs represents a room light in a building. So it's randomly sequencing through, uh, turning room lights on and off, leaving them on for 60% of the cycle uh, as if the person had gone into the room and stayed there. But the pattern itself and the duration is all set with a pseudo-random sequence. So it would take a long, long time to uh, see the cycle repeat uh, and not just two to the 16th states because the time of duration is also random. So you really would be waiting a long time to see the cycle uh, repeat exactly the way it started. It can be switched on and off by switching on and off the Arduino controller.